Today I'm going to be checking out Zippa Square. It's a square little brush. So, I got a couple tight little spots to get into. Let's check it out and see if this was worth the money. Let's. Nice square, soft bristles. Let's Corners. Fit in nice. Not a professional, so edging. I'll have to wipe that up. Thanks to that. All right, then there was this corner. But the real place I wanted to test it was in here. It's right next to the door here. It fits in nice. It's a nice corner brush. Let's wipe that up. Fits in the corner nice and tight spaces where I couldn't fit any roller. So, seems nice so far. Little spot here. I could do without taping, but I don't do painting often. I'm not a good painter. Uh, okay. Well, it definitely does what I need it to. Gets in the edges. So it's a nice little brush. And you can control it for the edges if you want. <laughs> This spot with the little roller, so and it puts a nice thick application on if needed. Besides corners, it holds a lot of paint and finishes without streaks. touch-up spot like this get some paint on it and it can apply a lot of paint to this area because of its square shape, it does hold a lot of paint with a brush-free finish. So it's actually been a very useful brush. I don't think it has enough for this. So for a touch-up brush, this also, the Zebra Square brush, also comes in very handy. 
for a little touch of brush because it holds a lot of paint. Let's see any more right here. I can we roll it. So into the corners really well but as you can see all the brush marks are disappearing as I spread it well if you are painting and you want a useful brush the zebra square brush seems to be very handy especially when it comes to the corner application and anywhere else till next time I'm Bill and I'm out